Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Taste Buds on Yardy Belly TV. I'm your host, Rev Saint Hope, and today we are making a crazy drink, guys. We are making pineapple with sorrel, that's the hibiscus flower, or the Jamaican flower, Jamaican hibiscus flower, whatever. We're making that drink today, guys. Let us begin real quick. I was told... making of this video at this time okay all right so let me just cut this and get this out the way and then we can move on to our delicious pineapple sorrel drink all right pineapple sorrel drink there you go 
there you have it this is easy you just cover the container and you have a quick snack when in time you feel hungry or you feel peckish you can just go get some pineapple out the fridge that's how we do it let's turn our attention now to the uh, pièce de résistance which is our pineapple and the ingredients to make our drink so i have some ginger and normally some people will wash and, and, and scrape their ginger i like peeling my ginger so don't come for me people let me tell you you can do it your way there's no hard and fast rule nobody set any margin or measurement for you to do things when it comes to cooking so please if people are going to advise you take advice yes but do not let anybody dictate to you or tell you that you're doing it wrong. You are doing it your way and your way may be just a different way. So as you can see, I've peeled my ginger and I'm just chunking them now. And I'm going to just add that to the pot as well. Now, everything here is going to be added to the pot. And the pot is going to have all my pineapple skins and pineapple core. And a whole bunch of other stuff in it and remember the pineapple skin has been washed before i actually cut it this time okay so please don't come for me now many persons may not use the orange rind or the skin of the orange but i like it the peel of the orange or the orange peel it adds a great dimension to your juice and you can try it and this is just an experiment trying different stuff i'm adding some pimento seeds here or allspice berries and again add as much as you like to make it how you like it okay the next thing i'm adding is some whole cloves the whole cloves is not necessarily um something that many people would use in a drink but i promise you guys it works it gives it this rich deep cider like feeling now cardamom is another ingredient that many caribbean folks may not use but it is amazing cardamom is so good especially in curries you could just pop some seeds like like i'm doing there and add it to your curry and it makes it awesome and i'm telling you when you add it to the drink it is even more so awesome just pop the seeds make sure that you open up the pods and add it now i'm using a stainless steel pan guys not an aluminum pan this time it's a stainless steel pan uh, i know aluminum um pan gives off metal whatever whatever and so i'm using a stainless steel pan a uh, glass a glass bowl would be the perfect thing to use to cook this but i don't have it so i'm not using it i use what i have all right so once you put this on the flame you just want to add enough water to cover your pineapple skins and then you want to get it to a, a rolling boil yeah don't over boil just a rolling boil then you want to prepare your sorrel now you could get sorrel fresh if you're on the islands but unfortunately we're working with sorrel that is not fresh we have dried packaged sorrel and this one is a good brand and that's what we're using so you want to wash your sorrel and pick out any type of debris anything that is foreign to the sorrel and once you have washed i mean immediately guys it starts to get red and once you have washed your sorrel and your pineapple has uh, been boiling for a while i need to say this you add your sorrel after your pineapple has been boiling for about 30 minutes remember this after once your pineapple has come off the stove and you've added your sorrel you want to wait another 30 minutes or overnight it doesn't matter and this is the result guys super red super delicious super herby and spicy pineapple sorrel drink then you want to start the process of straining your pineapple juice to get that nice red deep clear liquid and guys i'm trying to squeeze out as much of this sorrel as possible and i'm pressing down the remainder and guys you don't want to overdo this so you don't want to um crush this because otherwise you will make your drink cloudy so be careful of the processes that you're doing right now depending on how much sediment you want and how cloudy you want your drink then you will you know you can obviously crush it if you so choose I am just squeezing out as much as possible out of the drink and I'm straining it as I go along and whatever is left at the bottom you know that pineapple skin and all of that then I wash my hands and I'm gonna very much so 
use my hands to Mm-hmm.